Maple TA Lesson 12A Homework Question Number 9. In 2013, the Public Re uh, Religion Research Institute conducted a survey of 1,033 adults 18 years of age or older in the continental United States. One of the questions on their survey was as follows. How often do you watch college or professional sports? Uh, more than once a week, 227 responded, respondents selected this answer. Once a week, 196. Once or twice a month, 114. Uh, a few times a year, 114. Seldom, 134. And never, 248. And we're going to create a probability model. Uh, so over here we have our sample space or the questions that were asked. And it looks like these are right in a row. So more than once a week. Uh, the next one is once a week. So we can type this in, uh, or I'm going to teach you something naughty. We're going to do once a week and copy and paste <laughs> because we can do that. Or we can type it in, but this way I um, I eliminate any typos. So I'm just going to do control C and control V <laughs> because that's the fast way. Uh, the next one is we want to find the probability so I'm going to write down these uh, answers here, uh, or numbers. We have 227. Uh, the next one is 196. Uh, the next is 114, also 114, then 134, and 248. And we were told that our survey is of 1,033 adults. I'm going to verify that just by adding these together to make sure that I have all of them here. Just to double check things. Yep, 1,033. So that's my total. And um, we want to find the probability. So the first one, we're just going to take our um, the number of respondents and divide it by our total and because I found the total might as well just put it here and since I have done that I can click and drag oh there's one thing I forgot to do here which was divide by um, and I need to do F4 or function F4 for those of you who have a Mac to make it an absolute cell reference and now I can click and drag there we go and that'll give me the the uh, probabilities over here and we're rounding it out to two decimal places so the first one rounds up to 0.22 uh, the next one over here yep they got 0.19 so did we uh, 0.11 for our next one 0.11 and then the next one uh, because it was the same number 114 is still 0.11 uh, 0.13 it matches and the last one is 0.24 all right, so we filled in our probability model. And as a reminder, if I were to add these together, uh, this will equal 1 because it's talking about percentages, right? These are the probabilities. So I have 100% of them all taken care of. Uh, down here, create a 95% confidence interval to estimate the actual percentage of adults in the US aged 18 or older that watch sports at least once a week. This includes more than once a week and once a week. So we want at least once a week. Uh, more than once a week and once a week. So we're going to do once a week, more than once a week, once a week. So we're going to use our probabilities here for those two um, items that we're interested in and let's add those together because we want uh, both of them so we're going to equals add this plus this and so that gives us our uh, our statistic that we're looking for now we need to find the margin of error so I'm going to put this down here equals this number now we need our margin of error again remember mo is one divided by the square root or squirt of uh, our total or n and they gave us our total of 1033 adults we also calculated it here just to verify so n equals this so to find our margin of error we're going to do equals 1 divided by the square root of our total number of people that gives us our wiggle room for this 
uh, samples, uh, this percentage or uh, probability from our sample. We want the low and the high. And so we can just do that here in Excel since we're here. So we're going to take our sample uh, answer and subtract our margin of error. That gives us our low. Then our high will be the uh, sample statistic that we found and add our margin of error. And we have our confidence interval now. And we're going to round this to um, two decimal places. So point three eight and over here point four four it looks good and that was the end of that question let's verify everything looks good and we can move to the next